name of Jesus. I am going to talk about these five important points, five important subjects, which I know that with this, with it, you can control your nation, you can control your world. Hallelujah. With this, it's five keys, and with it, you can subdue the power of darkness. You can control both the devil and at the same time be at peace with your maker. And without taking our time, because I would like to meet all the time, without taking our time, one of them is offended. I say a little bit about it two Sundays ago, and I would like to repeat it. Because as I, I, I saw blockage. Little thing can stop the move of God. There are some things we might are in life say, you know me. But it can stop destiny. It's not say you know me. Just give me the plate of the food. I'm hungry. Give it to me. You know me. Jacob said that if I give you this food, I become sin and you become gene. He said, You know me. Just give me. I'm hungry. This plate. I want to eat it. Give me the food. So in life, there are many things that we say, you know me. Letting us know once again that devil use what you call nothing. Because he plan what you call nothing. Devil attack you with what you call nothing. Devil deal with you what you see as nothing. Devil cannot show you the real full size of him and what he's planning to do in your life until he achieves all. <coughs> we should be very, very careful interaction with our fellow human beings. How we live our life. All of us that sit here today, if we were to ask you all your character yesterday, you cannot remember all. But devil remember all. Devil remember all. There are some certain things that we can still use and advise ourselves. Sometimes I talk to us, I say that I'm a living testimony. I'm a testimony. I try to, to be holy with my God, not with any man. I try all my best to serve this God. Not any man. I try all my best to not to mislead you, but to tell you the truth. I'm not a pastor that devoid the sheep. I'm a, I tell you what I do. I tell you what I do. I cannot pretend for anything. The way you see me is where I am. And that's me. I love you more when you hate me. I care for you more when you hate me. I can make a call for you uh, when you hate me. What is in this life? That's my question. What is in this life? Money, 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 money. Two full chicken. I present it before you. With two or three bottles of champagne or wine of your choice. Okay, chicken is too, uh, is too small. Okay, one full goat. Where garnish? With what? With whatever favorite, not alcohol. <laughs> Drinks you like. Okay, okay, the goat is too small. Cow! Prepare for the test and the pursuit of your choice. Some the meat, real flesh, prepare with the pepper. 
some boy, uh, some uh, what did they do? Roasted and prepared. Only you, only you. Lucky in the house, only you. Only, only you, only you. Eat it and finish it. What is a man's life? Listen, God used leftover of the twelve basket to speak to me. Leftover, twelve basket. The crowd was crying, ah, food, food, food. The disciples said, they run them away. We cannot be able to feed them. They are much, they are 5,000. Excluded women and children. Drive them, drive them, drive them away, drive them away. But Jesus said, let them sit. Let them sit. And all of them sit in fifties. And now the bread multiplied, the fish multiplied. And all of them eat the eggs. Including children, the number of them is not known. The number of women is not known. But all of them for the satisfaction. And as they walk all left over of the twelve baskets, twelve baskets left over. And now he said, Dada eats. I don't know what you have today that you looked at. I say want to announce to you that all of them are left over. All of them are left over. All of them are left over. Twinkling of eye, anything can happen, you disappear. This is the living testimony. God give me so many things, He takes me so many rain that I must still be a message. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, I think 27th of uh, uh, was that December or 27th of January, thereabout, earthquake rocked this Galicia. I don't know whether some of you experience or hear about it. Because I'm a witness. I witness it. I witness it. I we are in my city room. Sitting on the chair. And it happened that I'm here alone. And the chair shed. I look left and right. I said, What is this? I look left and right. I said, What is this? Mommy, we are in the kitchen preparing things for the kids. I ran to her in the kitchen. I said, Mommy, just like the chair shed, you are there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. She did not mind me. <laughs> Her own might be in all this like this. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. She did not mind me. And I not for others to talk to her again. But the first thing I did, I, I, I came out and looked at the streets. Look at the whole house. I see that everything is still standing. Because I know that it's the sign of earthquake. I kept quiet. I said, it's not my imagination. <laughs> it's not the imagination. This is the reality. And I was there with the mighty dear. Like I was with the mighty, I could have said, maybe somehow he did the hand. His hand on the, you know, part of the chair. Unless some few minutes. I think when they came for other, I don't know, what the women meeting. She, she called me and said, eh, that is not what you say is true. <laughs> that the great man says that the one that is living with, with her ran out from the, the same room. <laughs> I said, okay, it's not only me. <laughs> Hallelujah. The mission, he said that this is our daughter that is here, paper. Still run out and say, this is a sign. <laughs> so, is it? Let me ask her. Supposing that day, 
that is a teacher. We don't know what God are doing for us. The inner battle, protection He gives us, or supposing if something happened in day, I mean that day, the way devil needed it, we might be inside some of us who would have died. Some of us could have died. Learn something. Learn something. Learn something. The worst thing that can happen to us, that's why I use this food initially. If we eat hard food, all those things are still sand. Sand. Fruit as you eat, fruit, they are sand. The best food we call the best is still sand. God just give it to us for a little while for us to prepare us by coming to Him. Until you understand this, that the very first day you landed on this earth is a journey. Journey to your mother's womb takes so long. The day you landed on this earth was the day the journey began again. You know where graveyard. The day you were born, that is the day that the journey to graveyard started. And all we need preparation because a day, a day is coming. A day will surely come. A day will surely come. That day, the devil will laugh at you. Because that day, there's no repentance. The devil will laugh at you and mock at you and say, Look at you, useless. Every Sunday, you go to church. That is when he reminds you how to pray in the house. And they are praying, they are laughing at you. <laughs> After the prayer, the next thing, the next action. We are here to lay. Anything that church cannot remove, bad that church cannot remove in your body, in your, in your system, in your character, nothing. Nothing else, nothing else that can remove them. When a wife clothes pain, sometimes you need bleach to remove them. But there are some people that you apply bleach. You do everything that is mean. Just like some clothes. Are some clothes that will stain. You are trying everything to remove the stain, but no way you remain there. Are you a part of this? So number one is offense. Can I say a little meaning of offense? You can call it hot. Hot song. Hot someone feeling. So this please. To make anger, to insult, physical harm, to annoy, cause discomfort, to sing, mention perfume. Listen, I want to let's break this to someone here. You cannot kill offense. You cannot kill offense. If you think because you forgive today that the offense will not repeat itself tomorrow, you're a joker. You must forgive today. The offense must flee today. The offense must beg you today. It will not happen again. It will not happen again. But tomorrow, the bigger of the one of yesterday will repeat. Listen to me. Offense is incurable disease. Sickness has, has no medicine. Offense 
has no medicine. The only way to subdue it, to bring it to lower level, you see, forgive and forget. Each and any time it happens, use the balm. Use the balm of forgive and forget and apply to it. And you find out that what shame we take over. Shame we take over. Hallelujah. Remember, with God, with God, with God, with God on your side. When you have God on your side, when you live with God, you never see offense. Living with God makes you free from offense. The only way to know what you are with God is how you are react when things happen. How long do I carry it? Three weeks ago or two weeks ago, I said I collect 7, which gives us 490 times. I don't know how value devil love of it. It is so valued to them. It's one of the two he used. Psalm 119, I read 165. Great peace have they which love their law. Which love their law. He said, and nothing shall offend them. And nothing shall offend them. Do them whatever you like. They are happy. Cause them, they are happy. And more than what you do, they are happy. Try everything to see you, they are happy. Go see back, they are happy. Talk about they are happy. Laugh at them, they are happy. Mock at them, they are still happy. It takes only one with God. <laughs> do I know if I have a connection with God or the Spirit of God is with me. Your reaction when someone offends you. This is a spell. Offend is a spell. Some people will say, I'm not caused. But ask yourself, do you have cause with offense? Do I have cause with offense? We are living a life today. Okay, I use the example of a man who has been in the world, water side for that eight years. A place called Pool or Besida. And the Bible said this man we are there for that eight age. That eight good years. You know what keep him there? What keep him there is okay. What keep him there is okay. I don't know where offense keep you today. I don't know where offense keep you today. You know what the offense is? It's just like the two bad two people in battle. And one lifted one because now you overpowered him and lifted him and hit him on the ground and said, I will not let you go. You learn on him and both of you will be and he said, I will not let you go. Is that not foolish? Yeah. That eight good years, this man complaining and saying, you know his complaint? Nobody. Whenever the angel come and rub the water, I have no one. I have no one to help me. I have no one to help me. For this reason, he offended with everybody. Every human being he sees his enemy. Every human being he sees his enemy. You know what it means? That 38 good years, a man in one place, even when Savior comes, because in our life we don't know the time Savior will come, but offense can drive him. Offense can make him not to manifest. Offense. 
Lord appeared before him and said, This is time. This is your time. He said, No. No. Don't tell me this. I have been here for how many years? I did not see anyone who helped me. No one helped me. Ask yourself. Free your heart. Free your heart. You don't know this. That your heart carries so many loads. The load that is not supposed to you still carry it. The one that are not made for you carry it. Huh? Matthew 11 and 28 said that come unto me, all you that labor and heavy and I'll give you rest. Most of you carry heavy load and refuse to float them. John 5, I read 5, chapter 5, reading from 4. John chapter 5, reading from 4. For an angel, you can, you can read all the whole chapter. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped inward, in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And five says, and a certain man was there, which had infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him, lay and know that he has been known a long time in that case. He said unto him, Will thou be made whole? Seven six. The important man answered him, Sir, I have no man. I have no man. I have no man. I have no man. This is his own problem. I have no man. When the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But why I am coming, another step down before me. Remember that the time. That the time. The man was kept here for a testimony. That testimony. But he will be offended that God never do it in my life. That somebody here who is crying, God will not do it in my life. The worst thing that can happen to us is when we offend against God. Not even only a fellow human, but God. God. Okay. John the Baptist was an angry with, he was angry with Jesus. Do you know why? The reason is that Jesus could have made him disappear in prison. Is that Jesus that saved him at the first time? Jesus could have made him to disappear. Or Jesus supposed to challenge the king Herod. He's supposed to kill the king Herod. Listen, the Bible says that the John the Baptist already heard about the signs and wonders that Jesus is doing. But the acts he committed by himself, he will offend it. His own might be. Am I not the one who baptized him? I'm the one who baptized him. He could have cared for me. He could have come for my rescue. Why did he abandon me? Jesus, in fact, you're a failure. You're a failure. To the extent we by, look at, okay, let me read. I read Matthew 11. Matthew 11. You read all the whole chapter. Matthew 11, reading from 2. Now, when John had heard in prison that the work of the Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Are thou he that shall come? Or do we look for an order? For say, Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again. Those things which he have do here and see. Five say, the blind receive their sight, and the lame, the lepers are cleansed, and the dead here. The dead are risen up, 
and the Paul have been here to preach to them. And blessed is he. Cease. Cease. And blessed is he. Whosoever shall not be offended. Amen. Blessed. 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 The action of Jonah simply proof or show God they are wicked. I'm offended. Why should you send me to Nineveh? For the greatness of Jonah. Because that reason why the, we have the book of Jonah. God wants to make him popular. I don't know what you are passing through today. God wants to make you popular. Yeah, yeah yesterday mistake. It's not the problem of God today because you already come to him. It is the devil that can't hear yesterday mistake. Several years say here, several years, that God cannot remind you of this yesterday. The same person. What we hear from God, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Jonah! God, you are wicked, you are wicked. Why should you send me to this kind of the people? But it's for his greatness. For his lifting. Okay. The three Hebrew boys, they are great example. They never blame God. They never blame God. That's the word they say. Oh king, we are not going to mind in this issue. If he's dead, let us die. If he's dead, let us die. But to mind you in this issue, I will never compromise. I will never speak evil of my God. My God is perfect. Whether I'm alive or I'm at death, whether I have it or not, whether I'm rich or poor, whether I have children or not, whether I'm married or not, whether I have paper or not, whatsoever on this earth, I value my God more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Remember that if they say that time, God is not our God again, they are going to leave them. They will not put them in the fire. Daniel proved this is what God wants to see. The time that they Daniel walking into the day of the lion. What do you think that the feeling of God? God is saying, Oh, look at cross. Look at cross. There's someone who trusts me. So this is that someone who trusts me. The reason why we do what pleases us, the reason why we commit it is because of the lack of the cross. We feel that God is late. We feel that we overweight. We feel that where will that be? How can you ask God when, when, when to ask? He's the owner of the season. He's the one who planted the season. He's the one who knows how when to bless. He's the one who knows when to visit. The day he paid visit before the house of the Mary, Mary did not know. Mary wasn't expecting him, but he appeared. And say, Blessed are they. Let us have that trust in him. Believe in him. Because that's the area that devil always hold on. You are confident in God that people see can still save so. I was in pain that I'm here, but nobody. Let him devil know that I'm rock. I'm rock for Jesus. Rock. Rock for Jesus. My parents never made a mistake. It is by the revelation of God. Call him Peter. In this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell will not prevail. Put your peace. Paul and Salah did not argue. They could have argued and said, God, I am a friend. God, where are you? But the Bible said what they did, they praised God. The means of the pain that they're supposed to blame, but rather what they do, they're praising God. They are doing Job. He blessed God. 
God give. See God take. Let's say this again. Do you know that the God of the Paul and Silas couldn't have reigned in that city if it's not because of the art they did? They entered their peaceful and they are there singing, praising God, praying, and never say, God, God, why? God, why? You just jumped out from the scene yesterday. And this morning you are asking God, God, why? God, why? Just only service, sometimes it might be service only, only one day. It might be holiness only one week. Holiness only one more. God, why? God, why? If your child has that seed, would it take time for Panevita to do what to repair it? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hold your peace because this bigger is coming. Bigger things is coming. Do you know the art of this man? Save the water. Art of the Paul and Silas. Save the water. He received Christ. The Bible said that immediately expect rocks. All the whole prison doors, everything will open. But <laughs> none of the prison escape. All of them will be inside. But what imagine, what my meditation here is that in those earthquakes, the world I did not know, the Bible said that God put him to deeper sleep. That he did not know what happened. And all the whole doors opened. And when he woke up from his sleep, and he found out that the whole door is open. He already know the church that is going to be execution, that is going to die. The government will kill him. But his fault might be, who knows how they are going to torture me? It is better I killed myself. And he lifted his sword to kill himself. And his soul shouted and said, Don't kill yourself. We are here. We are here. If it's you, if it's you, won't you say, hey, This is the opportunity. Kill yourself. <laughs> Kill yourself. But this man right shout. Don't kill yourself. We are here. Okay, let me read. Huh? Until you understand the art of God in our life. Until you understand what is God is doing in our life. Until we understand how God loves us. Until you understand what God wants to do in our life. It's very important for us to know this. In this life, you face persecution. You cannot shy away from persecution. You will surely meet people who will offend you. If a black man did not offend you, the white man will offend you. If you are not offended in the area of your work, even your family back in Africa or anywhere can offend you. Some good friend you have, but the elephants come everywhere. You cannot beat it. It's part of life. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. There are some certain things that you know. There are some certain things you know. When the art comes, what you do instead of acting, fighting, you'll be laughing. You'll be laughing. And when they look at your act, when they look at your heart, they will say, eh? If that person wants to come to me, say, hey, forget about you. Forget about this one. <laughs> Just like a rejoice. When some people know who rejoice is, they know they follow her again for herself. Eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Because her really, when you do her, she will just say, she don't keep anything. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew 5. Reading from 10. 10 to 12. Blessed are, are they which are persecuted for righteousness. For there is the kingdom of heaven. 11 says, Blessed are ye when men shall reveal you and persecute you 
and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely, falsely, falsely for my sake. And three, twelve says, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophet which were before you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Bible talks about time will not permit me. The Bible talks more about in same Matthew 5. If you read down all of them from that age, it was talking about the Lord that the Moses did. Tooth to tooth, eye for eye. But Jesus said, No. Jesus said, No. That's where so many Christians say, No, I don't agree with this one. Because he said, If anyone hits you at the right cheek, he said, Turn the other side. You see, that is where the Christians, some of them say, No. I cannot for this one. As you give me 100, I'm going to give you 1 million. <laughs> if you insult me 1, I'm going to insult you 100. He said, God or give. If that person cannot, because God knows he's the one who gave you at the first time, and he knows that he's the way maker, and he knows he can give you more than that, don't go to the native doctor and say, I'm going to kill the person. Offense. Two. Now it talks about fault. I'm not going to delete, I'm not going to say much about that. I will say a very few words. Two. Fault. Fault means a mistake or error. Or you can call it weakness. Weakness of character. You see how fault interpreted weakness of character weakness of character it's not that person intentionally but it's a part of that one's life most of you here that have two three four children we know that they're not all of them are not the same so weakness of character so now I will say a little about anger, the third one. Anger. Anger, a strong feeling of displeasure. Anger, strong feeling, displeasure. Hostility towards someone or something. Hallelujah. Amen. It usually comes with the word argue. And it produces harm. It brings provocation. Hot follow it. And it goes with the threat. And the threat produces stain. Stain. Stain of anger. Pain. Hallelujah. Yeah. Psalm 37 and 8. That's the word he said. Psalm 37 and 8. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fed not yourself in any wise to do evil. If you don't go home with anything today, cease from anger and forsake what? Wrath. When I began to meditate more about this anger, anger is a great cancer in the bone. He enter marrow. He chop everything. Anger. That that makes you not to sleep sometimes is anger. Anger boils more than water. I want the life of a man who led the children of Israel for 40 years. 40 good years in wilderness. 40 good years in wilderness. 40 good years in wilderness. It's very, very shame that all of us here, our mothers, our fathers, what are we teaching our junior ones, our children? 
the ones that are coming out, what do we teach them? When we live a life of anger, bitterness, and showing it to everybody, seeing it, who is going to tell you this if it's not me? I'm a father to you here, those who take it. Listen, there's not any father that will be happy and seeing that his house is on fire. Nobody. Sometimes in my revelation, I see a great move of God. A great blessing of God. But anger can stop. A house, once they have a house, when a foundation has a fault, you know what it means. When there is a division, the word of God cannot lie. A must treat you. Can two walk? I said they are good. When we are praying here, we said that one will chase one thousand, two will chase ten thousand. With what? A cord, one a cord, one a cord. The reason why the wall of Jericho fall is simple because people were in one a cord. Don't know somebody who wants to go home. To this, I mean, after the service, go home with the crutch. Watch your heart. All people were in one accord and round the wall of Jericho with one accord, with the instruction given to them. And what? Great wall for a man that lead the children of Israel. Forty years sacrifice. Anger. Anger. God take him to the mountain and say, look at it. Look at the promised land. But you will not enter there. You will not enter there. Moses lived 120 years. It's not because he's old age. If God wants to give him 500 years to live, he can do it. And that I believe for sure because anger stops so many things in our life. I believe that if it happened that Moses lead them to that promised land, Moses could have been the first king of Israel. They could have made him the first king. But premature death made him. There are Bible that people who live 900 years. God could have given him because of his effort, because God loved him so much. To let you know, God might have a great love for you, but anger can stop his move. Anger can stop his move in your life. 120 years, and he take him to the mountain and say, you cannot go there anymore. I began to meditate. If it happened that God can prevent someone not to enter the promised land here on earth because of the anger, then with anger, can you make heaven? With anger, can you make heaven? Anger, can you make heaven? Okay, let me read. Deuteronomy 31, reading from 2. And he said unto them, I am 120 years. He was talking to the children of Israel. He was talking to them, both Joshua. And he said unto them, I am 120 years old. He is there. I can no longer go out and come in. Listen, listen to what he said. Also, the Lord has said unto me, Thou shalt not go over this. You see it? Thou shalt not go over this. Hezekiah asked, and God multiplied 15 years unto him. If it's about the old age, Abraham, the God renew his engine. God renew his engine. Is anything too hard for God? But anger. The fourth one I'm trying to rush to meet up the time. The fourth one is unforgiveness. It's very long. I never even get to love. So, what am I going to say? So, unforgiveness. 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 Simple means lack of forgiving. Lack of forgiveness. Unforgiveness simply means lack of forgiveness. Huh? My question is this to all of us that stay here this morning. Why? I am sorry it's difficult. Why? I am sorry. 
Why? I am sorry. It's difficult. Is I am sorry carry all that weight. And you must say that it's very, very difficult to lift it. Why? Sorry. It's very, very difficult that a husband cannot tell a wife, I am sorry. That a wife that cannot tell a husband, I'm, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry, my Lord. Husband cannot tell the wife, I am sorry, my queen. You are killing yourself for no reason. Killing yourself for nothing. Wonderful family that God gave you. We claim right. Right. Anyway you see right. Forgiveness, very far. Anyway you see right. I am right. Forgiveness is very, very far. Have you seen two people being problem? And when we are admit that I'm at fault, <laughs> one of my sons there. Here. He don't know how to speak Spanish. And his car, he hit someone. And now they ask him, because he don't know. That you are the fault, you are the fault. He said yes. In Spanish. <laughs> what do they call it? Is that not Cooper? Hey, hey, where is Cooper? Where is he says he see, he see, he see. <laughs> <laughs> and when now they, now you understand they tell him the reason of it he said no <laughs> hallelujah forgive me it's another difficult I mean gift from the pit of hell forgive me they will use it and hold it. Hold it. Tight it. Forgive me. Devil. Tight it. Say this gift, I will not allow it to rain. Forgive me. Forgive me. Satan shares so many gifts in this earth. He shares many gifts in this earth. The question is that which one do he give me? Which of the devil gifts that I have? That's the common ways that we know too well. Common ways that we know too well. He said, to err is a human, but to forgive is divine. We say this word. Many say this word. Many so educated here, you know it. Some of you that go to school, some of you, all of you that say, you go to school, you go to school, you go to school. You school, you study. You school, you study. To err is human. This has no connection with the Bible. To err is human. To forgive is divine. To forgive is divine. To make a mistake is a human. To fail is a human. It's a part of us. But he said, forgive me, say divine. 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 Which of you that will tell me that you never offend someone before? Which of you will say, I never offend someone. Since I was born, since my mother gave birth to me, I never offend anyone. I a holy man from my mother's womb. Which of you? It is not, it's not, it's, it's in us to carry a stone. It's a part of our life to carry a stone. If she commit the act, we catch her in that very act. Let us stone her to death. She must die. It's in us. It's our life. We count other people's sin, but we never count our own. We share other people's sin, but we never share our own. We make other people's sin public, but our own, we hide it. We hide it. We hide it. Some of us sometimes we say that hey, you do the anger, anger, anger. But what of you? Hey, carry anger, anger. But what of you? 
Let somebody provoke you now. All the whole television in your house, all of them will break that day. Hallelujah. What is wrong? Listen, I want to leave this word to us. There is no sinner without future. There is no sinner without future. And there is no saint without past. Every saint today has a past. Before you judge anyone, first, first, look at him. Bible never made a mistake. Before you remove the spark on someone's eye, you say, first remove your own. Remove your own. The only thing that keeps everybody moving on this earth is mercy. Yes, yes. No one is perfect. It is mercy. It is mercy. I read Matthew 5, reading from 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. We're in the season of mercy. So this world today can still stand if you happen that you can take it. If you happen that you can take it with all your heart. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in the heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the world peacemakers, for they shall see. They shall be called the children of God. Unforgiveness. It's the activities of the flesh. It is the work of the flesh. Which I must still let us know a little bit, or you can read it on your own. Galatians chapter 5. You can read all the whole chapter. It said all, but the fruit. The fruit, how do I know if I have the Holy Spirit in me? How do I know if I'm living a better life? Not even what people say. Galatians chapter 5. You read all the whole chapter. But 19, let me just say 19. He said, The work of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness. It mentioned all. Hallelujah. Mention the few. Forgiveness is important to heaven, it's very, very important to heaven. That's why Jesus came. In most of the nature that Jesus gave to disciples, even to the world, is on how to forgive. This is the path of the ministration. Jesus is the only one who preached about it. Jesus is the only one who preached about forgiveness. Hallelujah. Forgiveness. He's the only one who preached about it. He, if you don't wear this attitude, you cannot make heaven. He gave one parable about a servant. Two servants. Two servants. Under one master. And it came to pass that one of the servants owed the master a large amount of the money. But the same servant, one of his colleagues, owed him by little. And now the master said unto him that owed him a large amount of the money. It is time to pay me this money. You must pay me this money. And he tried to pick up everything else, including his children. And this man falls on the ground and begs him and say, Master, please I don't have. And he gives all. He said all. He begged him in all. And he's begged. How do we pray to this God? How do you pray in your heart with a grudge? How do you pray at the night? How do you read the Bible? What kind of the heart you have? The Bible says that this man, now after begging, and the Lord, his master said, I forgive you all, don't pay me anything. But that of his colleagues, that owe him very little. Now, he went to him and said, you must pay me all my money. You must pay me all my money. You must pay me all my money. And now the colleagues beg him and say, please have patience. I will pay you, but now I don't have. And he went and picked him and threw him in prison. He threw him in prison. And the news comes to the world, the master, that forgive him all that he owns. And the master said, eh, is that how people are wicked? Every time we ask God, forgive me, forgive me. But there are some people around us. We never forgive them. We never forgive them. 
and we are asking God for forgiveness. God forgive. What the forgiveness? You never wrong God. The only person you can wrong more is on earth is your brother and sister. They are brother and sisters. They are the main one. When the man, the master heard about us, he go back to the person who he forgive and say, no, I don't agree again. That of everything you pay me off. And he pick him and throw him in prison. There's no time for me to write it down and read it for your own. Matthew 18. If I read all the whole chapter. Matthew 18. Matthew 18. Chapter 18. Read all. We should mind how we spend our day. We should mind how we spend our one hour. We should mind how we spend 12 hours. We should mind how we spend 24 hours giving to us a day. We should mind how we live our life. We should mind how we talk to people. We should mind how we do things. There are some people that are saying Bible. They offend them so much. That's the happen. They offend them so much. A man like David, a man after God's heart. I don't know somebody who owns this world today. A man after God's heart. Through or by him, Goliath was killed. That challenge or post threat against the world, children of Israel. Through him, through him, the Israel gained their victory. But do you know what happened? Just because the women sang and said that Saul gave his house and David gave his thousands, and the man did offend him and tried everything, all means. Do you know how many times he spared, targeted at David, and by the power of the Holy Spirit? He dodged it. He set trap. He followed David all over the wilderness, all over the bushes to kill him. But you know that David have opportunity one day. David have opportunity one day to kill him. God put this man to sleep where they are trying to kill, push here they are something for David to kill him. All the whole people that follow David, they say that it's our chance. It's our opportunity. Now the enemy will die. It is time for the enemy to die. The enemy must die today. They were celebrating the heart and injuring him up. And David said to them, Shut up! Shut up! All of you shut up! But the only thing that David did, he went there and used the sword, the knife he had, and cut some of the clothes and carried the sword and climbed some of the mountains and there make a noise. And the man said, Hey! It is time for us to kill him. And then we say, look at, look at all your war, whatever is here. Look at even your clothes. We have it here. I have all chance to kill you. But I forget. That is the place that now that's all remember. You are my son. <laughs> David, my son. David, my son. David, my son. Will you ever forgive? Write it down because of time. First Samuel 26. Read all the whole chapter. I could have read them, but there's no time for me. First Samuel 26. Read all the chapter. First Samuel 26. I use another name again. Another name I found in the Bible. That his brother maltreated him. Then dealt with him. And that name is Joseph. Then dealt with Joseph. Then maltreated him. Then sent him out. Or they sold him out. They reduced him to nothing. They showed him a great wickedness. But the time came whereby enemy appeared before his kingdom. Then he already became king. Second in command, he controlled the army of Egypt there. If Joseph said anyone will die, the person will die. His brothers appear 
I don't know the kind of heart we have. I don't know the kind of heart we have. How do we allow devil to take over our hearts? Devil take over our hearts. Devil pick your heart and use it as instrument. That sometimes you might look at people. This one is a prostitute. It's a harlot. It's a what's in it? Eh, you. All forgiveness is a, is even worse. Worse. All sin is sin. God hates all. God hates all. This man had opportunity to kill all his brethren because they are powerless. When they come to you, they are powerless. They have nothing. They have nothing. At the end of the death of their father, and now they know that they, all their mind before was is because of their father. That's why Joseph never wanted to kill. But when the death of them, and then now they conspire with people and say, go and tell our brother. For adventure, he will want to kill us. Tell our brother Joseph that when our father is alive, they come in with us, they come in with me. That yes, that they should not kill us so that Joseph might remember the act we did against him and intend to kill us so and our father said he should not kill us. Am I talking here? Now Joseph say a word. Joseph say your art is to humiliate me, to kill me. But God turn it around. I'm not in anger. I never quarrel with you. I'm happy. I'm happy with all of you. You all are my brother. You are my brother. You are my brother. You are my brother. And he kissed them. He kissed all of them. Man, 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 man. Brother. He kissed them. How many are we here? How many are we here in Europe? How many are we here in Europe that we're supposed to act like a brother and sister, like a mother, and enter a house today and eat? You go to my, you come to my house tomorrow, you eat. What is in this life? What is in this life? Can you carry star? Can you command the boom? Will you drive the ocean? Is that not these two hands you have? And the two legs? If God butchered it today, today, today. Two hands. If God butchered it. You can read on your right hand Genesis 50. In fact, read all the whole chapter. But let me read a few of it. 19 to 20. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for I am in the world, in the place of God. This is the most of the thing that happened here. Any person who is not in the place of God cannot forgive. He said, I am in place of God. He said, And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for I am in the place of God. I am in the place of God. I'm going to say, But as for you, he threw evil against me. But God meant it unto good. It bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. 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 I would like to announce this. If you want to know the angels, angels are more deleted. In this life, there are so many angels. If you want to know the angels among the whom, they are the people who forget very fast. They forgive and forget very fast. They are the angels living with us. Oh, yes. How do I indicate the angels? among us, among me. There are people who forgive and forget very fast. Ah, I could have shared this love, but love is going to take a lot. I could have, because it's right. I think I already shared. 
I could have shared five because the five, love is the conclusion. But I leave it next week. Lord, we bless your holiness. We magnify you.